corner right, bringing with it the tradition of picking out a pumpkin for jack-o'-lanterns and pies. And one family in southwestern Virginia has some bragging rights. It's grown some unusually big pumpkins in Tazewell County. And what makes this more amazing? The family is new to farming. Clayton McKesney has the story. If you drive by the Hidden Springs Farm in Tazewell County, you may be surprised by some of the produce being grown there. These eight giant pumpkins were grown by the Edwards family. Despite their success with these eight great gourds, the family says they're not giant pumpkin experts. This is actually their first time growing pumpkins of this magnitude. We took the boys to Dollywood last year and they seen the giant display and they were amazed by it and I was amazed by it. Inspired by their Dollywood trip, the Edwards began growing giants inside their house in April. But it wasn't a one-person job. The whole family was involved, with even the younger members working hard on their new project. We had to not let them get too cold, and we got to cover them, and then we have to cut off some of the other pumpkins, too. Cutting off the other pumpkins lets just one fruit get all the nutrients, making it grow even bigger. The family's biggest pumpkin is named Godzilla, after the classic monster from Japanese cinema. It's around half a ton and still gaining, putting on close to 40 pounds a day. In total, the Edwards have eight pumpkins of different but still giant sizes. However, when they first got started on this project, they had no idea they would be so successful. I was told that uh, it's best to be safe than sorry because they're hard, they blow open, they get root rot, they get diseases and so I was like well I better plant a lot so I can at least get three pumpkins at least. Well they all did fine. <laughs> the Edwards family hoped to enter these pumpkins in multiple contests including the Blue Ridge Giant Pumpkin Growers Association. They also plan to continue growing giants in the future and hopefully be able to one day feature their pumpkins in the display at Dollywood that initially inspired them to start their giant pumpkin journey. Putting on 40 pounds a day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Putting on 40 pounds a day. Doesn't no wonder pumpkin, it's called Godzilla. Yeah, the pumpkin looks kind of fake to me. I know uh, there's just something <laughs> crazy looking about it. Try your pumpkin spice latte on that, would you? Mm, All right. Might be good. All right, Priscilla encourages other people to consider growing pumpkins themselves. She says you can see the full process on how they got started, as well as some of the things they fed their pumpkins, including seaweed on their Hidden Springs Farm Facebook page. Okay. You fed a pumpkin seaweed. I've heard everything now. But by the looks of their pumpkin, hey, it, was it worked, right? Okay. Coming up.